Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at an introduction to electrical circuits. We're first going to define the circuit and look at a, an example of a simple circuit. Uh, we'll then talk about the three components of the simple circuit being the power source, load and the closed circuit itself. Uh, so as a definition, a circuit is a closed electrical pathway consisting of a power source, a load and a connecting unit. And I've got an example of a simple circuit here. Now this simple circuit has a switch in it, and a switch controls the, um, the flow of the current and whether that uh, electrical pathway is open or closed. And it's not technically necessary in a circuit, uh, but most uh, circuits will have a switch in them to so make them easier to control. Uh, the other components are the power source, and here we've got a single cell, uh, a load, and here we've got a globe, and the wires that connect it and make up that connecting circuit. We'll now look at those components in a little bit more detail. So firstly, the power source. The power source provides energy to the circuit, and this is electrical energy. Uh, and that electrical energy allows the electrons to flow around the circuit. Now all of the, well all matter really, has electrons in it, um, but one of the things about metal in particular is that it is a good conductor. This means that electrons, or the electrons in it, uh, are delocalized and are able to move around from one atom to another. So what this means is that when you connect a circuit up to the negative terminal of a power source, that has a whole heap of electrons in it, and those electrons push all the electrons in that conducting path around the circuit. And we call this movement of electrons current. Uh, one power source that we can have is a cell, and you might refer to a cell as a battery, uh, but in science we talk about it as a cell. Uh, and this is stores chemical energy, so there's chemicals inside it, and it has a chemical reaction that occurs, turning that chemical energy into electrical energy when it is connected up. And most cells run at about 1.5 volts. When you connect multiple cells together, we refer to this as a battery. Uh, so for example, a car battery has six cells connected together, each of 1.5 volts, making a total of 12 volts. Uh, in class, we're going to use power packs, and these are an adjustable uh, source of power and can run from two up to 12 volts that are capable of both alternating and direct current, although we'll usually uh, use the direct current on these. And these turn the power that you get in the wall up at the 240 volts down into a, a low voltage that we're able to work with safely within the lab. Next part of the circuit, or component of the circuit, is called the load. And this is any component that uses that electrical energy. Uh, so this could be a light, it could be an electric motor, it could be a buzzer. In some cases it's a resistor, um, although it's not technically used in that case, um, unless you're trying to create heat, which is another interesting thing. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Uh, but that basically, anything that uses this power uh, or energy to do work is referred to as the load. And you can have multiple loads. You can have multiple lights, multiple motors, a motor and a buzzer, all these sorts of things. And finally, we need a closed circuit. So a closed circuit means that we have conductors, usually metal, uh, that are connecting each component up to each other so that there is a path for the electrons to flow through. And now we use switches uh, to open this circuit. So here you can see this switch, and this is a tap switch, so you press down on here, and there's two terminals on this switch. Uh, when this switch is open in the stage that it's in at the moment, there's a gap here between these two terminals. So this is then is an open circuit, so because there isn't a conducting path, it's unable for uh, electrons to actually move around this circuit. But once you press down on this button, uh, those two will touch each other, closing the circuit, allowing those electrons to flow. In this video, we've looked at an introduction to electrical circuits. We've looked at a simple circuit and the three components of that circuit being a power source, 
either a cell, battery, or power pack, the load being anything that uses electrical energy, uh, and the connecting circuit, which must be closed to bit work, uh, and which you can put a switch in to open when you do not want the circuit being closed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.